Hello and welcome to Squint and it's Mint. So we started doing uh, videos after we'd started the project. Fortunately, we had these uh, these photographs that we've put into this slideshow. And this slideshow is the uh, removal of the vinyl roof, which is where it all started really. We uh, you know had the car sitting and uh, you know it was letting in water and you could see the rust was bubbling up underneath the uh, the roof, so we could, needed to do something about it. So you can see in this particular shot that there's, uh, you know, rust bubbling up under the uh, vinyl on the C pillar. This is where we popped the screen out, and obviously the rear window came out as well. Starting to peel off the vinyl roof. And all the glue and all the, uh, you know, residue of the vinyl that's stuck to the old roof to deal with. And uh, takes quite some scraping. Once it's all off, you... Uh, you quite quickly realise that uh, from the factory it didn't really have any any coating. It almost seems as though the the cars were painted with the vinyl roof in place. But of course that's not the point. That's not the case. What they actually do by looks of things is uh, just didn't paint the roof. I guess if the bill sheet said it was a vinyl roof, they'd paint around the car. The roof would get a little bit of overspray. And, uh, and then they'd slap the vinyl roof on afterwards. That's why uh, I guess they rust when they get any moisture underneath them. Of course the vinyl roof is going to tap, trap moisture. Now here we've got it off and we've cleaned up the, you know, the roof surface. And you can see that uh, you know, it, has, it has rusted through. There's rust on the pillar there that you saw underneath the, uh, the vinyl roof. There you go, little pinholes, well, a bit more than pinholes. And this one here is where the uh, where the seam was between the three bits of vinyl that are used to cover the top of the roof. So there it is with rust treatment on now, all the uh, oxidization ground out. And I chose not to weld the roof, didn't want to risk distorting it. So we got the rust out, rust treated it, and actually used uh, glass fiber reinforced filler in the uh, in the pinholes and in the uh, in the rust holes. The rust holes were only very minor; it didn't really warrant uh, putting new metal in. This is epoxy primer on there now, and what we did was we rolled it on just two k epoxy. And the areas there you can see with touch up are where the uh, the glass fibre filler was um, was rubbed down. Here we are now with some uh, top coat on there. Venetian red, 2K. Again, roll it on, rub down, and then roll it again. But I mean, obviously, it's not going to be seen, so uh, you know, didn't really care to spray it. This is the underneath of the roof, and you can see where the uh, the wool insulation, that's the gap, that's the gap through the rust. But where the wool insulation has held moisture, uh, and actually started to rust on the inside as well. So I'm glad I spotted that. And again, you can see that the roof, inside of the roofs were never painted. So that's rust treated now. Fully cleaned up. And these are the final pictures of the uh, of the uh, video with the uh, inside rollered. And that should uh, that should keep it uh, in good order for many years to come. All right. Well, thanks for watching.